Hey again, Kane and Malcolm. Hello. I wanted to do something special, not just another interview. And you guys kind of, you're star icons already. I think it's fair to say, you know, LA born and bred. If I know, Birmingham, Alabama born and bred. LA royalty already, rock stars. I think, you know, my, my look needs reinvigorating because you guys, right, let's, see it. let's, yeah, let's, I'm going to try and stand up and get it in the foot. Well, I am. Well, well, here's, well, here's the thing, guys. So you guys are Americans, so you guys invented the idea of thrifting, right? So what do you think of my outfit at the moment? I think it's good. Uh, well, I'll tell you what I think of it. Yeah? I like your outfit. Thank you. That's very kind of you. It's loud. It's loud. It's like what Sean White would wear. Who's Sean White? He's um, he's a snowboard, isn't he? A snowboard. Games. It's kind of like Billie Eilish circa 2017. Mm -hmm. She grew out of it, but I didn't. That early era of Billie. I'm still stuck there, but it doesn't quite fit with the kind of cool and understated indie vibe that you guys have. So the idea is for this video, I want to get an outfit for just 10 pounds, which is kind of like 11 or 12 dollars in Brixton, where we are right now, thrift shopping. Do, do you that's think hard I? To do. That's hard to do. Do you think that's a tight budget? Do you think I can do it? It's certainly a tight budget. I think it's possible, but it takes skill and finesse. Yeah. Uh, that's what style is all about. I mean, I was hoping you guys would come with me, but I think we've run out of time this time. So, but do you have faith in my fashion ability to, to find the, yes. the items? Of I don't think I base my faith off of, but yes. I yeah. Have. No. How, how, how how large was the store? The I mean. The, it can be any store, as long as it fits within the budget of I see, I see. ten pounds. <laughs> so, <laughs> without without your guidance. Right, right, right. How quaint. We're here in Brixton, and I've got the task. Everyone is rude because we're in London, but it could be worse. Uh, I gotta find some charity shops. Ten pounds for an outfit, and I've got to impress Malcolm and Kane because right now I'm, just, you know, a big neon Crayola pencil. Here you go. First location already, thanks to Google Maps. Trade. It looks like it's meant to say triad or trade. It's spelt wrong either way. But I'm gonna go in there and see if we can get some stuff for the outfit. I'm thinking I need. Probably t-shirt, t-shirt and trousers at least. Maybe jacket, but I'm on a 10 pound budget, you know, so I don't want to push it. That was a bizarre experience of my first charity shop in London. Believe it or not, guys, I am an introvert, so I can't film in there and talk without feeling horrendous. You know, some items in there were like 11 quid, 12 quid, and some were literally 225 pounds. So I don't know if London's confused over what the concept of a charity shop actually is, but I think this might be a bit harder than it would be in Birmingham, like my high street that I live on, you know, 10 pounds for an outfit is not outrageous. I was seeing some good stuff in there. It was a bit of a lottery over whether it was gonna be like 300 or, you know, 12.99, but 12.99 is still out of budget for me, so. Back to the drawing board. Oh, it's the gherkin. Wow, guys, I love the gherkin. It's a bit pointier than I remember. I think that's wind erosion, but I love the gherkin. Now, for me as a brummie, this is a cipher saw eyes. A British Heart Foundation shop, although this one looks like it's more furniture and electrical than clothes. So, I may have spoken way too soon. Is that a bell? Oh, a plane. This is a surprisingly bearable part of London. I thought it was going to be way more crowded. I was a little complacent this morning, okay? I, uh, I didn't actually get a train until later. I was meant to get a 12 o'clock train, but I ended up getting a 2 o'clock one. I only got into London at like 4.30, so it's kind of 5.15 now. It seems like every charity shop closes at 6, so I've basically got 45 minutes to do this. And uh, I guess I'll just have to break my own limit. Trade is the, you know, the default. If I haven't got anything by like, 5.45, I'm just gonna have to go trade and get like, there was some nice brown trousers in there for 7.99. So I might have to cheat and get another 10 pounds out and then no, no, punish myself. I'm up against the clock now. Now we're going to a Bernardo's down here that closes at half five. So that's like eight minutes time. 
I'm just seeing Brixton Mall. That looks quite cool as well. Um, yeah. Could there be some deals in there? I might check it after Bernardo's. Bernardo's. Bernardo's is on the kill list because they're not letting anyone else in. Even though it's like eight minutes to the closest. So Bernardo's let me down, but this place, Regal Home Store, has some clothes in it, and I'm hoping it saves the day. Uh, found out it was too expensive and got picked out for recording at the same time. So we're, we're doing amazingly here, guys. It's just the warm welcome you'd expect in London. We have options. Maybe children's wear. Good old Sports Direct. It's not bad for eight quid. Now I'm definitely gonna buy a t-shirt from here. Sports Direct comes great on a t-shirt. Six ninety nine for that is awesome. Um, can we go lower though? Up against the clock. I'm gonna trust my instinct here. I think eight quid for this one. I'll just give myself a little penalty for spending too much. Secured the bag. Now I've got to rush back to try it and try and get the trousers. I don't want to hear any chat about how this is a thrift shopping video and I've gone in a big major chain sports direct. Cost of living crisis. I'm not going to be hipster about which shops I can buy clothes from. If it's cheap, it's cheap. Whether it's from like a market stool or, you know, a big chain. That's the point of thrift shopping, right? Oh, god damn it. We should have got the Queen merch. Here we are back at Trade, which is off the limited places we've been, by far the friendliest place. <laughs> You are feeling that I'm sweating and having a mild panic attack because I'm in London and that's just what London does to you. But I've got the outfit. The original goal was £10. And all together, the t-shirt was 8 quid and the trousers were 7 99 so that's literally £15 for 9 99 So what I'm going to do is deduct one point from myself for each pound I went over. I think that's the fairest way to do it. Classic London police chase. Fucking wonderful city. But yeah, the boys from Moore. We're talking, we're talking LA models here. LA models and LA actors. Red carpet, prestige people. Like Kane and Malcolm. I think with my humble 16 pounds, which is about $18, I'll impress them. It is. The windmill. Before I get changed, guys, in the disabled bathroom, which is next to the stage, um, this is the outfit I'm currently wearing. It's kind of the, the noisy, the noisy, scribbly t-shirt and the checkered boohoo man jeans. I'm hoping that we've got a bit more nuance in what we secured from Trade and Sports Direct, that very cool vintage store that I know more are going to be big fans of. Let's do it, hang on. Changing transition in three, two, one. There we have it. Awful lot, but I think we did good. I think we did good. Well, I'll just show you guys the whole thing. It's screwed up. There you go. It's the look. Malcolm is crowding like crane. So typical. Can I squeeze in? Well, yeah, you guys can have a full look. What do you think? It's very good. It's very Yeah, I wanted to hit the LA look for you guys. Like, it's almost as if it's like Woody Harrelson. Accessorized here. Woody Harrelson is on vacation from LA too. Yeah, Woody, ha Woody Harrelson was not necessarily the vibe I was going for. It's a good look. I don't know if it's something Woody Harrison will wear as much as it gives me, makes me feel like Woody Harrison. Yeah. It feels more like his character. Yeah. It's, it's like a, wo a Woody Harrison role playing experience. How, it's like Venice, Venice skater. How much? Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Yeah, yeah. so I got the t Hot tuna. Hot, yeah. Hot tuna, which is a band. I, I, where do you think I got the t shirt from? Oh, no. shop. <laughs> it's from this really cool thrift shop called Sports Direct. It's, it's a really niche, small store. It's definitely 
definitely not a big change. Right? I, mean, I, I feel this is a little bit amateur of you, Tim. What is? Summer of 69. Don't need to be making this up. I just saw it and I was like... Okay, so here's my question. Yeah. I feel like more, closer to a more groupie than I did before. Okay, but do you feel hot? Do you feel good? But what was the goal? The goal was... How did you want to dress? How did you want to I wanted to feel like I could go to a more gig and feel like people would look at me and go, yeah, he belongs. He belongs. He's part of the... He's, he's with the entourage. He gets it. He gets it. But I wore this outfit in LA, how do you think it would go down there? You'd sit right in, you'd, right. Have, you'd, you'd live in Venice Beach. Yeah. So my idea was right. First of all, I had ten pounds. How much do you think this outfit actually cost? Well, how much does it cost? How much does it cost? Because now we're talking fashion. Well, how much did it? How much did I pay for? It? If Kim Jones put this on the runway, that's that's a good eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred. Wow. Well, I'm happy to do some currency conversion. Yeah, go for it. Dollars to pounds. Our economy is like the cost of the whole outfit was fifteen pounds and ninety nine pence. The shirt, the t-shirt was eight pounds, and the and the pants, the trousers were seven ninety nine. A sweet seven ninety nine. Yeah, you feel the material. That's that's, that's real polyester. Real. Wait, what, what's the, what's the cheap fake stuff? Polyester. Yeah. That's not real cotton. What would you give the outfit out of 100? 100. I'll give it a... Uh, yeah, so. Let's see. I'll we'll give it a... Uh, 69. 69. Amazing. Okay. I'm gonna give it a 70. A 70. Can I borrow any of your clothes to add to the outfit? Can I have your jacket? Yes, yeah, Okay, thanks, Ben. Safe, guys. Go, go set up. We'll go watch the Rockstars play now. And I'll just monologue it again. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times.